Hi everyone, my name is Miss Libby. I'm a children's librarian at the Waltz Branch, and today I'm going to read for you Something's Wrong, a bear, a hare, and some underwear. Written by Jory John, illustrated by Erin Crone, and with permission from Macmillan Publishing. Let's see, I ate my breakfast, I wrote in my journal, I watered my plant, I took my bath, I tried on the gift from my grandma, and I combed my fur. Hmm, so why do I still feel like I'm forgetting something? Something's wrong! I don't get it. Why do I feel so odd right now? So off, so oddly off. Something's definitely bothering me, but I can't figure out what it is. Oh, hello there. How are you? How are things? It's so great to see you. You're doing well, I gather. Everything is just so good. I can't even believe it. <laughs> you enjoying that water? I love water, love it. So refreshing. Okay, bye. Why is that bear wearing underwear? Check me out, just confidently strolling through the forest without a care in the world. Yep, I'm the picture of calm. There's nothing on my mind that's totally and completely worrying me and distracting me and making me think that something is utterly wrong. Just be cool, man. Play it cool. Just another day. Don't let them see you sweat. Um, why am I sweating so much? Oh, hello. I didn't see you there, but now I do. How are you? How's your family? How's your life? It's great to see you. You good? What's it like being a raccoon? You enjoying the weather? Yep, me too. I love nice weather. Love it. It's cool to be warm. <laughs> Uh, but I can see you're quite busy. So I'll let you get back to whatever you were doing. Okay then, well bye. Why is that bear wearing underwear? Something's definitely wrong. Something's odd, something's off, but I don't know what it is. You know what I need? A friend. I need a trusted friend who will be honest with me. A friend who will tell me if something is actually wrong. I can think of only one trusted friend who will know what to do. Anders! Oh, uh, hi everybody. How are you? You're all looking good, happy and healthy. Nothing more important than that. Am I right or am I right? I think I'm right. Swell day we're having, eh? What is this, a Tuesday or a Saturday or a Thursday or a Wednesday or a Sunday? Uh, anyway, I must be going. I'm off to find Anders. Lovely chatting with you all. Say hi to your families for me. Okay, bye. Why is that bear wearing underwear? Oh, Anders, Anders, are you in there? Whatever it is you're doing, please stop and come outside this instant. I need you, old buddy. Oh, hey, Jeff, how's your uh, day? Um, how's your, let's see, how's, uh, are you okay, Anders? Oh boy, should I tell him? You really think he can handle it? Why am I even asking you? Who are you? All right, well, here we go. <sighs> um, Jeff? Could it be that you left your house wearing underwear? Why do you need underwear anyway? You're covered in fur from head to toe, man. Seems unnecessary to say the least. Gulp. I'm still wearing the gift from my grandma. She sends me the weirdest stuff. No judgment here. Good thing I saw you first, eh, buddy? Gosh, you're right, Anders. Whew. I mean, sure. I may have talked to a few other folks along the way. A deer and a raccoon and a hedgehog and a fox. Oh, and also that bird. But I'm not sure they noticed. I mean, they didn't say anything after all. They probably would have said something if they had noticed, right? I suppose, Jeff. But we should probably get you home before anybody. Uh, who's that in the distance? Over yonder?
everybody. How's it going? Nice weather we're having, huh? Looks like rain or something, or maybe not. It's cool to be warm. <laughs> anyway, how are all your families? Everybody good? Say hi for me. Well, I must be going. Which way was I heading? Let's see. <laughs> um, Jeff, why are you wearing underwear? Why is Jeff wearing underwear? What do you even mean? This is the new thing, people. The new style. That's what's happening. Animals wear underwear now. You're looking at it right here. In fact, why aren't you guys wearing underwear over your fur, huh? Because I'll tell you, you look weird right now, if you want to know the truth. Well, uh, that's a, uh, mm, Oh, Anders, thank you. You are indeed a true and trusted friend. You've saved the day and my reputation. I'll never forget this. Never, ever, ever. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go change into something a bit more respectable, like a top hat and a scarf. Oh, and maybe a monocle. Why bother, buddy? You're just fine as you are, trust me. A little bit later. What'd I tell you? Hi, are we doing it right? Yep, you nailed it. Nothing odd here at all. You know what, Anders? I may be absent-minded, but one thing I'll never forget is that you are truly a good friend. Good friends are like good underwear, Jeff. They're reliable and they're supportive. The end. Thanks for spending time with us today. Visit us at cpl.org or call Dial a Story at 216-777-6500 to watch and listen to more Cleveland Public Library story times. Have a great day.